Let's practice revolving wallpapers in After Effects. I'm going to press the uh, play and you can see this looks pretty neat. How do we do that? So I'm going to begin with a new composition. And we'll just make it uh, short, 10 seconds. Click OK. NTSC widescreen. And this is where we need to have two pictures. I'm going to drag in a picture that I found from interfacelift.com. And uh, the picture I chose was the smallest one available. So I have a picture there. We went to uh, File Import, and that's where we found our picture. So we're going to get a second picture here, and you can see it's, it's a bit uh, purple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a 3D layer. So if you hit these little boxes here, it's now in 3D. What that means is that you can actually go, hit the drop-down box, go to Transform, and change the position. And the position will have a XYZ property. And as you scrub it, you can see the number is getting bigger. It's moving back. It's getting smaller. It means it's moving back further away. So I'm going to set the position to be a thousand. So that's pretty far back. So let me just uh, collapse this transform property. And just to see what's going on here in 3D, I'm going to right click and create a new camera. Click on OK. And with this camera, this camera sees that these layers are 3D because the 3D options have been set. I'm going to choose this drop down option called the Orbit Camera Tool. And if I kind of click on this and I can see this is in 3D, which is neat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try rotating this and as I'm rotating this I notice that I'm rotating around uh, this specific picture here. Now how do we make it so that we can make the camera look in the middle and have the, the whole view uh, such that you can see both pictures rotating? The problem here is the camera is looking at this image only here. So right now we're looking from the view of camera 1. If I change this view to the top, if you press control minus you might be able to zoom out a bit. You can see that from the top view you can see both pictures. This picture is a bit further away because we set its position, Z position 2000. Right now the camera is looking at this little uh, center here. It's looking at the first image. That's why it's rotating around this uh, point here. So what we want to do is we want to make this camera actually look here in between the, the two um, images. So this is our strategy. What we're going to do is sw switch back to the camera one. Let's press Control minus, Control plus uh, to zoom in. And we're going to create a null object. So I'm going to right click, New, Null Object. And the key idea here is the null objects is going to be the parent. So the camera one, the camera one's parent is not going to be none. It's going to be the null object. So as you can see now as we use the orbit tool for the camera, nothing much has changed because the null object is also in the same position as the first image. However, if we change the position of the null object, so let's make the null object also 3D, go to transform, and set the position to be in between. So between 0 and 1000 is 500. So let me just click on the Z property and type in 500, enter. You can see that the null object's in between. And the way the camera is now rotating is it's rotating it in a more even way. That's because the camera is attached to the null, to the null object. So the camera's parent is the null object. So one last interesting technique I'd like to show, uh, share with you is if you go to the Null Objects Transform property and go to the Scale, let's see what happens. So as I scale this, uh, this uh, actual Null Object, it's actually changing the view. It's affecting the camera as well, indirectly. So as I scale it up, I can now see more things. And so we can even play around with the null object's rotation. So for example, if I play with the Y rotation, I can see 
that the null object is indirectly affecting the rotation of the camera itself. Very neat. So let me just reset it back to zero. I'm going to record the Y rotation. So I hit the record button here, the stopwatch. Let me just uh, get rid of this box for you. And I'm going to scrub to the end of the video, which is 10 seconds. And then I'm going to change the Y rotation to 10 times, which is 10 times 360 degrees, three full, three full, sorry, 10 full revolutions within 10 seconds. So as I scrub the CTI, current time indicator, back to the beginning, press spacebar, we have a very nice uh, view. In fact, I can use the camera orbit tool to get a, give a different angle here and see a beautiful effect.